Hi friends, my name is Abdul, and in this video, I'll show you that how you can run a three-phase motor using Arduino as a controller and with a LCD display, 16 cross 2. And the driver that we are going to use here is IR2110, and you can also use IR2112 depending upon the kind of MOSFETs or RGBD that you want to operate. So the techniques that we are implementing is how, uh, over here is space vector pulse width modulation that is is one of the latest and the most efficient technique that uh, mostly used so um, let me first explain the circuits blocks that we are going to study today the first circuit block that we are going to study is that how we are converting the AC supply into a DC supply so on the screen that you can see the red area in this we are converting a 220 volts and 50 hertz AC supply into DC supply we are just uh, deploying four uh, diodes and converting into a DC supply then we are connecting a capacitor a resistor the resistor is connected over here is just to discharge the capacitor as the capacitor will get the charge and discharge so we have to create and remove those ripples so the capacitor will be discharged across that the resistor and um, on the left side of the capacitor there is a LED and a resistor the purpose of this resistor is just to make sure that the LED gets only the minimum voltages that is required just to turn it on and at the end I just added a um, meter to check the amount of voltages that we are getting normally if you are um, giving him to 50 volts and 50 hertz then you will get approximately 218 to 250 volts sorry 318 to 320 volts so over here if you see that I have added a control menu these are basically five buttons that we are going to use the first button is for run forward run backward speed up speed down and the last one is for the stop button so all we have to do is just to click those buttons like this and it will be operate their functions like it just like switch buttons like push buttons and the second thing is over here is a Arduino controller so what we are doing here is that we are using a 0 to a 4 pins as a input modes and then we are using 3 4 5 and 6 these basically from four pins will be deployed as a PWM controller and the four five six will be used as a, a degree shift like from 0 to 120 from 120 to 220 to 240 and then 240 to 360 it will be a complete circle so we are just getting square waves for those parts and then we are generating a PWM like this one and this one is basically getting merged with all these ones so after getting merged we will get at the supply that we, we will get the six pulses that we want to operate this circuit so let me just get you a demo before going into further details okay let's focus it and just run the simulation okay as you can see this thing has start running okay so it's right now operating and it's just speeding up like it may goes to around about the rpm that we have set on the pulses so this is the main menu this is the space vector press any key you can just press any key if you press this key then the motor will start running forward if you press this key the motor will stop and it will run backward and if you press this button then it will speed up and if you press this button then it will be speed down and if you press this button it will get stop so simply it will get stop and we'll just have to focus it on okay so what we are doing over here that we are using a IR2110 as a driver then this one is just for the filtering purposes we are giving our pulses through these two one you can see a resistor and the second one is just a diode and then these two pulses uh, over this one and that one is just giving to their respective MOSFETs or the IGBTs and after that these are giving to these 
and then these three pins are giving to this three phase induction motor so it's just a very simple technique that we are going to use here it is too much easy all you have to do is just to get the simulation and run it and you can get the files from me by just sending a mail at my mail id i'll also write the mail id in my description and let me write it over here for you just go there it will be let me just zoom it I think this one is pretty much clear over here it, um, it is thmed45000 at the rate of gmail.com so you can get all the files that you need and you can also go get the codes that we are have implemented in this and this protis file and the other files just send a mail and we will contact you okay thank you take care bye